Hello and welcome to Engis Education Robotic Tutorial. At previous session, I discussed the VRAP robotic chassis building. Today we will discuss how to use Python programming language with VRAP communication. So, as you can see, this is my robotic car and um, I have, a, at previous video, I have described how this car works. So, as you also can see the physical cars here, which uh, I believe uh, closely resemble to my virtual car. So, uh, just for refreshing, it is start from the power unit. So, the powering unit is that the power source is that 12 volt battery, which I left here. And uh, so, the battery get uh, battery get 12 volt. The 12 volt is transferred to the buck converter. Buck converter get 12 volt input, and the output comes as 5 volt, which power the Raspberry Pi as well as the four TT motors. Now let's go. Now let's go back to the virtual robotics. So the virtual robotics has got all of its parts. Now, as far as the script concern, I will show you the number of script I'm using for this robot. So these are all the script, but only one script here is activated. So there are default scripts, but I just left one script activated. Rest of the scripts are deactivated. So. Let's open the activated script. Nothing much inside, as you can see. There are very little. I'm just zoom, zooming it off. Okay. So this is the script, as you can see. So it starts from number one, line number one, thread function equal function. Then basically nothing inside. It just the function just ends. Then sim set thread switch timing two. Sim extension remote API start. So this is this is for communicating with the remote API, which will talk to the Python programming language. And the socket is one nine 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 nine. Okay, and the rest of the code is this. In my detailed article, all the links are provided. You can download this file and um, do some detailed study. You can modify it. Also, the Python programming codes are provided. Let's open the tutorial first. Okay, this is the detail tutorial. I wrote it for you. You can get all of my codes, including the GitHub repository, and um, don't forget it has got all the cat files as well. So that means you get all the virtual cat files, including these wheels and motors, the whole robotic chassis, the Raspberry Pi 4 cat file. You can modify them, and I will see how the project progress. Okay, so at the beginning, I described the two tutorial I done previously. Also, for your information, I just expand this part. Okay. So the relation between virtual robotics and physical robotics I just visualized here. So this is my virtual robotics, and when it is transferred to the physical robotics, I mean the code. So basically, get the physical robotics. Just for some illustration. Okay. Now I provided some of the descriptions, and my first tutorial. Then my second tutorial. Now, uh, this tutorial, this is the code we require for today. This code in Spider 4 ID I have used, which I'm going to show now. Uh, but before that, just discuss some of the code aspect. Okay, so this code import all these four files. So import vrep, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as mlp, then import time. Now, these are some APIs used to communicate with VRAP file over the socket communication. For the socket communication, as you can see, it wrote client ID equal vrap.cmx start and the IP address, which is basically the mo modification of local host. So, 127.0.0.1, the same socket 19999, which, which, is, which is mentioned here. The same socket one. 149 this socket communication is directed on the file okay so uh, this is the south socket communication and these are the rest of the parameters you require to establish this communication so all you have to do is just run this code and you will see the result but but before before you run this code, you remember you need four files to run this code. 
uh, those four files are link provided so those four files you can uh, get the whole repository from here so if i if i just okay you get the whole repository from the link provided so if i just click on this link it will it will redirect me to my google drive and where all the files are located to the provided link okay so th now there are two sets of files are here so you can see the vrep robot files and autodesk inventor cat files if you just click on it you can see all the cat files including the robot chassis raspberry pi 4 and the camera now um, go to the physical file i mean the vrep file so if i go back there so vrep robot files well now uh, uh, you must need these three files in the same working directory to run the code so the one file is simple test.pi vrep.pi vrepconst.pi then uh, for future tutorial you need another file which is the image file okay i'll, I'll come back to it but uh, uh, before before that um, just remember that you need this remote api.dll file as well so i would recommend that you uh, download the whole folder then make it as your uh, active working directory now open the spider code okay so this is the spider code i'm just zooming off okay yeah so this is the spider code this 33 line code i will use to communicate with uh, my vera code so that way it will work is that first of all the working directory this is the working directory i download the file and i i made it my working directory then you go to vrap you play your script so play button so the script is live now as you can see the camera can see a ball just in front of it and the wall as well which is which is here so the camera can see, see this ball and the wall okay now the script is live now we will play our python script okay now i have already played before but uh, i will play it again so if i just play it as you can see program started and all it does is that it takes the image is just publish one single image okay and that image you can see from the plot file okay so it took that image 250 by 250 pixel image and it will publish it so the camera sees whatever in front of it and with this script you can publish it now uh, at next session now we will run this um, in a while loop so we can get continuous image so that will make a video file which i have done in this one this file so video buffer.pi this is the complete code i mean this is the complete code of the functional vrep robot which track a red ball and uh, which measure the distance from the car to the red ball and it follow that ball and at the same time it maintains certain distance from the ball and uh, the added benefit is that um, this this code can be customized actually i have done the customization to monitor the wall as you can see the mon the walls itself are red and white so basically it looks like a block so the robot sees this block and it measures the distance from the robot to that block so this way uh, it, it can go towards the block but it maintains certain distance to avoid the collision okay so this is the whole code which you can get from the description link and uh, if i if i play that code what will happen is that first of all i turn it off then restart the code again so i restart the code again and i go back to my spider for ide and play the video buffer code as you can see now okay so it gave me the frame now as you can see so my robot is moving as you can see the robot is moving which uh, is difficult for me to show you the robot is moving and the ball is being tracked and it is meant it is measuring the distance from the ball which is 9.23 when it comes really close then it will it will stay away from that ball for certain distance that will make sure that the robot doesn't get uh, collision from that uh, with that ball okay so that's all for today 
and um, I am continuously publishing the whole tutorial eventually I will publish the physical robot tutorial as well so that way it will work is that the same code let me open the uh, spider script okay first let me disable it okay I'm going to dis oh, disable it now uh, the same code uh, I have implemented in my VDEF robot I will modify it for my Raspberry Pi 4 robot so the Raspberry Pi 4 physical robot will get the modification version of this code and it will work fine as I will be publishing um, so thank you for watching my video I will see you next time cheers